we will now revise resolving vectors into perpendicular components. We shall consider resolving a velocity vector into horizontal and vertical components. We shall consider a velocity vector of 100 meters per second acting at 60 degrees above the horizontal. The size of the velocity vector can be shown using a scaled arrow. We can use a scale of 1 centimeter equal 10 meters per second to represent the 100 meter per second vector with a line 10 centimeters long. The direction the velocity vector acts, which is 60 degrees above the horizontal, can be shown. We have now represented the velocity vector of 100 meters per second acting at an angle 60 degrees above the horizontal as a vector diagram. Projecting a ball in such a way, we notice that it has a horizontal velocity as well as a vertical velocity. We can break the velocity of 100 meters per second into components vertical along the vertical and along the horizontal. To do this, we draw vertical and horizontal lines along the base of the vector and along the tip of the vector so that we form a parallelogram. Let us remind ourselves about the size and direction of the vector. We can now find both the horizontal and the vertical components of the velocity. The horizontal component of the velocity is given by the length of this arrow, horizontal part of the parallelogram. The vertical part of the velocity is given by the length of this arrow, found by the vertical part of the parallelogram. We can now use our knowledge of trigonometry to find what these lengths are. The horizontal side of the parallelogram is found by 100 cos 60. That means that the horizontal velocity vector is also given by the magnitude of 100 cos 60. Since cos 60 is 0.5, 100 cos 60 will give us 50. Therefore, the horizontal velocity vector is 50 meters per second. The vertical size of the velocity can be found by finding the vertical part of the parallelogram. That is given by 100 sine of 60, which equals 86.6 .6 meters per second. We can now say that projecting a ball of 100 at 100 meters per second at 60 degrees above the horizontal, it's like projecting a ball with two simultaneous velocities, a velocity along the horizontal of 50 meters per second and a velocity along the vertical of 86.6 .6 meters per second. Remember that perpendicular components of any vectors act independently of each other. Therefore, in this case, the horizontal velocity and the vertical velocity will have no influence on each other.